Hi everybody and welcome to another video of the channel. Right, so guess what just happened to arrive at my doorstep? A box filled with Lord of the Rings figures from Toy Biz. Yes, this took its while to get here. Okay, I was kind of becoming a bit desperate thinking that it might have lost its way, but it, ha it has finally arrived. So let us open this box up and see what we got inside. Right, okay, so. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a tiny plastic bag with some accessories. On the off hand, we've got what here? Got this huge sword, okay, a broad sword, I would, I would say. We've got this curved elven blade over here. This wicked blade that belongs to one specific character that I will show you in a second. This accessory, I'm not sure what it is, but it belongs to the same figure and a handkerchief. Okay, so the first figure to arrive is none other than Elrond. Yes, in his battle armor, so to speak, so to say. Right, so this scabbard fits quite nicely. The blade fits quite nicely on the scabbard. Yep, there it is. And we've got here none other than Arwen's dad. Yes. Okay, right. Hellrond of Rivendale. Okay, with a removable cloak. Cape, actually. Because it doesn't have a hood. Hellrond of Rivendale. Yes. So I was so ecstatic to discover that these were for sale because these are. Uh, I wouldn't call them vintage, but they do have a significant amount of age to them. Can you help me out, Hafa, please? The year of this one is 2000 and 2002, thank you. So this makes this figure 16 years old right now. Okay, right. So Elrond, the first figure. Great. Okay. The second one, Grima Wormtongue. Yeah, so I was kind of hunting for this figure for quite some time now because, in all honesty, I've already had the chance to buy it but uh, once before. But the problem was that it didn't have any of its original accessories, the, the one I had in hand. And I thought, well, I'm not going to, you know, just spend my money on something which is incomplete. And then when the opportunity presented itself, I was ever so happy to discover that I had a chance to get it back. So, Grima Wormtongue, yes, take a look at this wicked, wicked blade he's got here. Yeah, okay, absolutely fantastic. Okay, right, so... I don't know if I'm going to put it on the sheath. Yeah, I think he's going to hold it. I think he's going to hold it in his hand. Right. Yeah, here we go. Yes, an assassin's blade. Right. If I've ever seen one. So he also comes with these two accessories. The hanky and this pointy thing, which I, in fact, am not sure what it is. Okay. Right. Then we have... Yes, this was one of the figures that got me to buy uh, this set. And why was that? Because, well, what we've got here is Eowyn, but not just any type of Eowyn. Uh, this uh, figure was only sold on a special gift set box that I've never seen before. So this is from the Return of the King Coronation set box that came, well, the problem with box sets is that, well, they come with some figures that I already had and some other exclusive figures. So what I had to do was to buy those figures again if I wanted to, you know, get the chance to get these exclusive figures. So there's a bit of a problem with the cape. So one of the holes 
and one of the, you know, doesn't seem to fit quite properly. Yes, it is right here. Okay. Absolutely beautiful gown. Okay. Rubbery feel to it. On the cape. Yes. Really, really beautiful, beautiful gown. Yes. And I obviously felt happy for Erwin because she ended up ending, so to speak, with Faramir. Yes, that's the other exclusive I got here. From the same box set, Faramir in his ceremonial attire, so to speak. Okay, so he's a warrior, so he always wears his armor. But still, he's got this special blue cape. Okay, so awesome. The, these figures are in quite, quite a good, good shape, though. So they've been pre-owned by an adult collector. Okay, so I'm guessing they were displayed somewhere lovingly. And fortunately for me, that collector just wanted to change his collection or whatnot. And finally, the last figure I got on this set was none other than the Ring Wraith. So one Ring Wraith, I should say. Um, it is by no means the only Ring Wraith figure I have. I've got plenty of them, but I didn't have this particular model because this is what they did. So along the line, they've done several you know, different action figures of the same character. So this one will be a great addition. So these have these gimmicks. So when you click on this button that you can find at the back of the figure, so its arm would extend. And this is the one that came with this broad sword over here. So as it is usual on this toy line, so the longer the blades, the curvier they get. Yes, I know, yeah, this is one of the things that happens with this collection, okay? But, okay, if you are patient enough and you apply just a little bit of strength, not too much, otherwise it's gonna definitely break, um, you might get, you know, to become straighter if you're patient enough to do that. Right, so let's try putting the blade on the hand, yep, carefully not to break it, here we go, so you can see the effect, yes, of the, yeah, yeah well it's not working too wide, yeah, okay, right, you get the picture, don't you, okay, it's, it's best if we remove it safely on its sheath, right, so it, Yep, because ring wraiths are terrifying in themselves. They do not need any weapons to terrify others. Right, so you can see underneath these, yes, this figure was once a knight in not so shining armor. Right, you guys, so this is quite a nifty addition to my Lord of the Rings Toy Biz collection. I hope you've all enjoyed. I know I most certainly did. Hope to see you soon. Stay safe. Stay strong.